So hey Saints, it's Sister with the Testimony and this is uh, downtown Texarkana. This is the old McCarty Hotel. It is actually standing on the ground that was the first lot. It was the very first lot that was sold uh, when Texarkana was opened up by the railroad to um, per be purchased by just, you know, just anyone could come and purchase the um, the um, land and build on it. And um, the cool part is, is that the building's still here. I think it was built in 1930. And it's in uh, disrepair, decay. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, then across the street, you've got the Union Station. And uh, it was... Uh, the Texarkana, um, Arkansas side was where the train station was, and oh, mysteriously it burnt down. They had to bring it over to Texas, so you know, go figure. But you can see the Freemasonry um, influence here, and uh, up at the top, of course, the circle, and you've got the arches of Baal, and um, you know, it's just pretty much in disarray and disorder. Hey, now. You think about it saints if you look at downtown uh here just down from the big building on state line you've got union station and then you've got this mccarty hotel which is built on the very first seriously the very first lot that was ever sold to the public um it's pretty amazing history you'll find out that it's um history is rather colorful to say the least. Uh, basically, what I mean is Texarkana, if you do your research and you do your history, you're going to find out that Texarkana was built by the railroad uh, as a railroad town. It started out with uh, whorehouses and uh, idolatry, debauchery, uh, let's go into it, greed, self-promotion, selfishness, lust, perversion, um, all manner of disgusting, filthy, immoral um, practices, alcohol abuse. You know, even today, you got the new building here, but even today, the downtown is just absolutely, it, it's in disorder it's it's like decay and and death there are a few businesses that that are here and open of course but if you look at the most for the most part the whole entire town as a whole is decay disarray delay it's like, what is up with Texarkana, Texas? And there, guys, there's a lot of towns in Texas that have humongous courthouses. The Freemasons have totally just taken all the credit for all of the great little towns in Texas. But guys, if you look behind the scenes, you're going to find out that that one looks pretty decent right there. That's that side of town. And then we got this side over here. Uh, you got quite a few businesses down here. But if you look on the inside and you look around, you're going to find a lot of abandoned buildings. Okay? Abandoned. Uh, yeah. Yeah and nothing's going on. I mean, this is behind the municipal um, auditorium on the west side. And then you come over here. I think there's a couple of restaurants right here that, um, of course, now Texarkana, that's the municipal auditorium. That's the city hall now. And then you've got all, all just, I mean, seriously. And if you go downtown on State Line, it's even worse. So it is literally a picture 
um, physically of what this town is spiritually. And, you know, they're just really proud of their town. Greetings from Texarkana, but they can't understand why they have so much uh, drugs and and alcohol and, and transients and homeless and, and um, just all manner of, oh my gosh, immoral debauchery still downtown. You know, and I'm sure the people that live here have no idea the type of um, city that they live in what it was founded on, I can guarantee you most people have no clue whatsoever that this town was that bad. And then you got, um, you still got the, the saloons and now they've got this new deal that you can come in and uh, if you walk along the green path with your open container, you can drink outside publicly. Woohoo, hot dog flip flop. And uh, you know, coming around the corner to the Grimm Hotel. You know, they're really proud of the fact that they've got so many ghosts and goblins and haunted buildings. Um, they literally feed, look at there, the Freemasonry um, influence with the Baal worship. Seriously, guys, if you think about it, people are so ignorant that they just they they just eat it right up it's like yeehaw you know all these all these buildings it's just there's nothing going on there's nothing it's like it's dead okay and then you come up on the churches okay seriously if you think about it oh here's a church on the corner yay uh dead men's uh what what is it whitewashed sepulchers full of dead men's bones you know and i'm sure the congregations don't feel that way but look at that freemason influence yeah you got the lotus flower and you got the the um arches of baal no but i'm serious saints Uh, tell us what the law is so coming around behind the the big old courthouse here which splits uh texarkana um into um arkansas and texas and you got the the statues of course and oh oh there's another church with its little steeple open the door and see all the people uh whitewashed tombs full of dead men's bones um my goodness if jesus said that there was a reason so there is um this is state line avenue uh see right here state line and um if you do your research there's the there's the big building that's the center of town and you look over here and it's just seriously like you can get a feel for the the fact that this place is just spiritually messed up just some of even the newer buildings they just look like there's something not right like like you see that one it's abandoned and they're working of course on the um the hotel grim is grim all right grim reaper but even some of the buildings that they're keeping up they just look messed up you know look at that old decay you know throw some paint on it somebody come down here and pray oh wait a minute i did hello um point being saints at the end of the day whatever the town looks like it gives you 
a feeling of the spiritual atmosphere. All of the darkness, all of the decay, all of the disarray. Uh, am I trying to beat Texarkana down? Am I trying to be, you know, ugly or something? No, absolutely not. I'm calling it like it is. People need to wake up. And uh, so the Lord sent me down here to pray. And I, you know, I've been praying over the town. And he gave me Job chapter 22. And if you read Job chapter 22, it's pretty awesome. Because it's like the Lord said, go and speak life into Texarkana. So seriously, saints, these old buildings, just old and abandoned and... It's just, oh, just a sign of the desolation of many generations. The desolation of many generations. And the Lord is the only one that is going to be able, with a move of His Holy Spirit, to see this town come to life and so I'm coming over here where the homeless camps are and uh, the Lord told me specifically what to do and how to do it and I'm like okay Lord <laughs> whatever you say I'll do it um, the Lord will give me instructions saints and I have no clue sometimes you know why I'm doing things that I do and then later on it will make sense so we're coming up over here and um, there's the going into downtown another one of them decrepit buildings and then you come over here where they have the church under the bridge you see the bridge and all of the darkness and everything this is uh, the abandoned parking lot where we've been having uh, church under the trees right there and uh, been having a lot of great things happen just praying for people and seeing people um, just totally and completely blessed of the Lord. It's been pretty awesome, saints. All I can say is the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Um, right there, you see how dark the bridge is and how black uh, Sister Janetta noticed uh, the darkness and the, the dark area. Um, under the bridge right here and uh, one lady said oh that's holy ground because they have church there and it's like no every time every time somebody goes back over there and does their evil um, the, the land has to be claimed again the land has to be taken back but it's just a sign of the spiritual decay uh, that a city is completely wrapped up in. See, there's the railroad down there. And that's where the original, the original um, city of Texarkana was literally right down there on this end of Front Street. You can see Union Station over there, how decrepit it is. But uh, over here is where all the, the tent city and stuff is. And so uh, what I'm going to do is actually... Um, claim the territory for the kingdom of Yahuwah. So I'm going to get off here at Sister with a Testimony. God bless you, saints. I love you. I'm going to do a little more work over here. So anyhow, have a wonderful day. It's Sister with a Testimony in the field.